Hey, Susan? I guess I could just set you up a direct deposit if that's easier. I, I don't know. I'll have to ask Henry. You have to ask your 11-year-old? Did our financial statement come in the mail today? Yeah. I forgot to give it to you. I don't know how you do it all by yourself. Come on, I have Henry. Find me another male of the species who's more grown up than him. I'd like to. This story, it's about me, my brother, my mom, and the girl who lived next door. Henry and Peter, they're lucky to have you. And your father's lucky to have you too. Stepfather. <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome to What the Flake. Christy Alonzo. <laughs> Book of Henry, y'all. Okay, we are spoiling the shit out of this movie. So if you don't wanna know what happens, <laughs> stop now. Cuz there's no way to talk about why this movie is as fucked up as it is without telling you all the things. Yes, and even if we do tell you all the things. You'll still wanna go see it. You'll wanna see it more, oh, yeah. theoretically. Um, it's I, a selling point. I don't even know how to explain it other than to say it is Terribly awesome and awesomely terrible and very, very strange. It is as batshit crazy as, as you may have heard. I'm gonna try to describe the plot to you and even that's gonna sound totally bizarre. Um, so Naomi Watts is a single mom. She has two little boys, one played by Jaden Lieberher who is brilliant. He is a genius beyond his years. He is languishing in this shitty public school that he goes to and his younger brother played by Jacob Tremblay um, looks up to him and is bullied and and next door to them is this beautiful, magical, and mysterious young woman who apparently is being abused by her awful stepfather who also happens to be the police commissioner. So as one would, um, the older brother comes up with a scheme for his mom to assassinate the police commissioner. And there's also a coma. There's a coma in this one too, oh, isn't and there? To, to, to say it, at the least, there's a coma. It's a coma. There's, it's coma week on What the Flick. So uh, take a look at this at this clip, and perhaps it will make sense. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Mom, everything you need is right here. I'll be with you the whole time. I know what you've done. Henry documented all of it. Who do you think they're gonna believe? It can't be left undone. No matter what, don't I'm panic. I'm not panicking. We have to make it better. <laughs> okay, so first of all, this movie starts out as being this little jingly little Wes Anderson, beautiful upstate New York, mm -hmm. you know, autumn town, and there's people are riding their bikes by a body of water. You have this insanely brilliant genius 11 year old boy who, like, plays the stock market and has made his mother super rich, but she still goes to work every day as a waitress in a diner. <laughs> and yes, he's, he hangs out in public school so that he can protect his younger brother. And then, yeah, realizes that the, 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 the cop next door is molesting the girl next door in the, in, in the bedroom with, that he can see out, right out of his window. Um, and conveniently then, enough. Conveniently <laughs> enough, but then, and then when he calls Child Protective Service, the, that's run by like that guy's the cop's brother. So, you know, gotta, gotta kill the cop. But then Henry gets a brain tumor and dies. Yeah, sorry, that's not a spoiler. That's the thing that happens. Henry gets a brain on. tumor and dies, but he's left incredibly specific instructions for Naomi Watts on how to like, Buy a gun, yeah. like get the guy to stand in the right place so she can shoot him and he can fall in the river. Like it, 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 and he leaves all these like little micro cassettes behind with right. instructions. That Even she, though it's now, it's, I thought for a while that took place maybe in the eighties because yeah. a lot of oh, his no. toys and games and his like little kid accoutrement are kind of older, like no. like the tapes. But no, it takes place now. Yeah. But he devises these like old fashioned kind of Rube Goldberg contraptions, oh, and so God. that is where some of the stuff comes from too. And um, then, and now here's my favorite part. My <laughs> My favorite part is when he tries to convince the school principal, Tonya Pinkins, that this girl is being molested. And she's like, we don't have any proof. I mean, yeah, she's got bruises and she's gone to the ER, but I can't do anything until mm -hmm. we have proof. And the proof finally comes at the talent show at the <laughs> end, because there's a talent show in this movie. And the principal sees the girl doing a modern dance recital and looking sad. And she looks in her eyes and realizes, oh, this girl's being abused. Well, the girl is in all the Sia videos. 
<laughs> right? And so she's very expressive and she's really good at, you know, connecting with her audience by now. And that's how she's telegraphing to the principal, I'm being molested by my father oh. through dance. Um, yeah, it's terrible. And it, I gotta mention who directed this. Colin, Colin Trevorrow. Trevorrow. Colin Trevorrow, who um, did Jurassic World. World and A Safety Not Guaranteed, which, which, a is, good which was a good. And he's doing the next Star Wars movie. He's doing yes. episode nine. So I, I guess this is kind of a return to the smaller, more character-driven movies that he made his name on, A Safety Not Guaranteed. But it takes this shift is massive turn, and I don't know that the movie knows that it's crazy, I, right? Because it plays no. it totally seriously, yeah. and I almost wish that there was like a recognition of this is batshit, and we're all in on it, and yeah. let's go for this crazy ride together. But no, like they want us to accept that there is emotional poignancy <sighs> in every crazy step that Naomi Watts' character takes. Yeah, it, yeah it, it is this weird notion of like how indies work, and in, in that it wants to be both like kind of a cutesy twee indie with Rube Goldberg devices mm -hmm. and autumn leaves, mm -hmm. and a like you know let's deal with how to, how are we going to rescue the girl who's being abused <laughs> next door? And yeah, it, it has no idea that it's trying to do the impossible basically and yeah. for this thing to have worked it, it it's such a high wire act yeah. between genres and tones and styles and and narrative stuff that if it if you don't execute it perfectly it is a fucking disaster yeah. and the book of henry is a fucking disaster uh, yeah. go see it it's, yeah it's it's a great disaster though so go see it with friends i guess the the, the you guy, can't believe it exists while you're wrote, watching the it. guy who wrote the script i guess he wrote it like 12 years ago really and he's wanted to get this made ever since and i'm amazed at like who all they got to be in this because oh, yeah. and and the thing is that these young actors are really, really talented, like gifted beyond their years. They're selling actors. it like crazy. Yes, Jaden Lieberher was in Midnight Special and was in St. Vincent, which mm. sucked with Naomi Watts. That yes. was terrible, but but Midnight Special was great and he's great in it. Jacob Tremblay, of course, like devastatingly adorable, but also ha is not cutesy, yeah. has great presence about him, great instincts about him, yeah, he's only Sarah like eight Silverman years old. Sarah Silverman is in this movie, Lee Pace. In it. yeah, it's, it's a really good uh, I mean, the, the, the bad cop is Dean Norris from Breaking Bad, you know. It's just weird. Oh God, this movie, you you honestly can't yet, believe you're watching it while you're watching and it. And yet you, but should you should go watch see it. it. <laughs> Like I don't know if we've made this because we see to you. so many <laughs> run of the mill terrible movies. You know, like there's so many Transformers, The Last Nights out there. Yeah. But a, a Book of Henry only yeah. comes along every so often. You're yeah. like, what the fuck was that? This is like collateral beauty level yes. of crazy. It is. This is so an <laughs> Alan Loeb movie that Alan Loeb didn't write. And in that again, great cast. Trying hard, Whew. taking it seriously, but yeah. the story is nuts. So my number is a three because I really <laughs> enjoyed myself. I, I gave it a two, <laughs> but I mean, it's a it, it is a ten of zeros. What can I tell you? <laughs> There's your blurb, and um, it's at twenty three percent on the tomato meter. So seriously, get some friends, get some watch drinks. this movie. You can't <laughs> believe it. Bye.